Yeah, what happened with the business? Yeah, that's right. So um, that was around um, that was November of 2008. So um, there was a, it was a sizable space around 55 square meters. So there was enough space. So we we sold the products in the bakery, and then we also consigned some uh, delicacies from from Pampanga, being you know, a culinary province. And uh, we also served the the food from our from our uh, family heirloom recipes because right, of course our right. family loves to eat. So the dishes that we used to serve during family fiestas and, and holiday gatherings, we served there. So that was November of 2008. And, um, 2008. and then you know, it, it, it was there for almost three years, so a little bit over, a little bit less than three years. Yeah. And then just early this year, when um, me and my three cousins were deciding what to do with the, with the business, I mean, it was doing mm -hmm. okay, but we weren't seeing a lot of growth in terms of uh, you know, what we were serving right. and in terms of the sales. Uh, so, I mean, I, I still decided to stick with it. And, uh, you know, we were thinking, why not rebrand re it right. or at least realign the food offerings into something more healthy? Exactly. Because of the restaurant, it's actually based in a building that's co that's all health-related establishments. So you're the only one who, who is not non-health, so to speak. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. At the time, I mean, most of them are are, are, are selling and doing the the health thing. That's right. That's right. right. But what we wanted to do is really be more holistic in the sense that mm -hmm. we don't just serve, let's say, uh, you know, healthy food, but there's a little mini mart in the store. So people can buy the organic produce uh, that we source out from organic farmers. We also have imported and local right, right. Uh, food items that are all healthy. Well, what have you learned uh, since you started your own business, ventured into your own? Uh, what are the things that you've learned? Okay, yes. Uh, well, of course, uh, I guess um, your, your question is how, what, what I learned to really try to make the business a success. Right. So I think first and foremost, you have to be dedicated in what you're doing. Um, you have to be believing in what you're producing, in, in, in what you're serving. Mm -hmm. And then number three is you have to be hands-on. <laughs> right. I think that's also one of the little downfalls of um, the previous restaurant I was with. It was because um, even though all of us were involved in it, we owned it, mm -hmm. none of us were really based oh, there. Oh, that's one of the reasons all, why. All, each of us also had our own um, individual right. jobs. Right. So nobody was there. I mean, it was just right. the salespeople, the sales ladies there selling. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it could have been, uh, it could have done a lot better, I guess, if we were still there. Right. Uh, will it matter if you are coming from uh, an entrepreneurial family? Uh, I guess, of course. There's a lot of guidance involved there, and maybe in, in, even in the um, in terms of networking or supplier mm -hmm. relations. If you know your family has, you know, uh, um, these contacts in, let's say, the the, the supplier side, right. or let's say even in. In sales, they can refer you to potential customers. That would mm -hmm. be good. But otherwise, it need not be. Right, uh, right. Uh, I mean, it's not a requirement. You just have to be creative. I, I also understand that <clears throat> there were also some some resistance when you started. What are those resistance? Uh, when well, you started the business? Yes, yes. Actually, resistance or challenges. I would call it challenges. Um, when we set up this restaurant uh, called the Sugar Leaf, you know, again in Green Hills and in Makati. Uh, you know, I think there's already a trend towards health, but you know, some of the resistances or the challenges we face is number one, it's the availability. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, unlike let's say any other restaurant, if they run out of lettuce or, or if they run out of vegetables, they can just easily get from the market. Right. But because we stand for organic and natural produce, mm -hmm. we cannot just do that. You know, we have to source out right. other um, organic uh, practitioners. Right. Exactly. So you know, especially when we decided to already branch out into our second mm -hmm. branch. I mean, we were getting our produce from from up in the mountain province. So it will have to travel all from. Yes, it, it's shipped um, from 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 Pampanga, from from uh, the mountain province yeah. twice a week, mm -hmm. and then we distribute that to the two uh, right. branches. But why now, sugar leaf? Sugar leaf is actually the English name of uh, stevia. I think maybe you know yeah, about stevia. stevia. Stevia is one of the natural sweeteners mm -hmm. we have. Um, it's uh, low glycemic, meaning it won't make your blood sugar go up yeah. if, if you're good for diabetes. diabetes. Yeah, good for diabetes. It's ideal for diabetics. Um, but it's a natural substance. It's not a fine white powder you see in those small right. sachets, which we totally do not. I tried in the that. I, I tried to pick uh, a leaf. Yes. And I just tried to, to, to chew it. it. Yeah, it's, it's sweet. Basic. It's sweet. There's it's a bit of. Um, there's a bit of. Um, a, there's an aftertaste because it's a leaf. But you know, you can we dehydrate it and put it in tea oh. bags so you take away the, the the bitter aftertaste. Yeah, I see. So uh, now you are on your uh, second branch. Uh, are there some other challenges that you're seeing? In terms uh, of competition, I think more, more people are going to organic. That's uh, correct. Farming um, organic. Farming market. organic, yes. Actually, there is a discipline in terms of uh, organic uh, no, organic restaurants, organic farms. Uh, for organic farms, is they, do not, they cannot use uh, artificial or synthetic man-made um, pesticides, herbicides. Yeah. 
and for produce manufacturers like poultry and chicken, they should not be feeding the, the animals yeah, with uh, growth hormones and, and stuff like that. They should, so they should only be fed with, with natural feeds or, or grains. So there's not a lot of farmers um, that, that uh Of course, because that. I understand it's also expensive on the part of these farmers. It's right? more expensive because number one, the yield isn't as big. Mm -hmm. And then number two, it's seasonal. Mm -hmm. And then number three, the, well, the demand isn't that great yet, even though we're seeing a rise in the, in yeah, the, in the business. And of course, um, there's a, it's more labor intensive as well. Right. So, you know, in, in, instead of, let's say, there's, a, there's pests on the crop, instead of spraying it with, with, plant, with, with pesticides, they mm -hmm. would have to either take it out by hand or do something else naturally. All right. So you're OK with the competition? Yeah, well, in terms of competition, I think what sets us apart, mm -hmm. I mean, there are, let's say, healthy restaurants. But most of these I noticed are, let's say, they, they brand themselves as vegan or vegetarian mm -hmm. restaurants. We're not necessarily vegan. We're not necessarily vegetarian. Mm -hmm. We just stand for good, wholesome, healthy, delicious food. We have to make it delicious. Otherwise, we can make the healthiest food, right. but if nobody and, will and eat it, the delicious. kids won't eat it, um, it's, it's really pointless. So, right. And aside from that, aside from the food, we also have, uh, you know, again, as I mentioned, the little mini mart where people can buy the organic produce, the organic chicken. Ah, I'm interested with that, with that part because, you know, most of our mini marts, they are, they're not just, they are non-organic. So non-organic, and then it's, it's spread out when, you know, let's say in the supermarket, there's an organic section there. Mm -hmm. Or if, if you're unlucky, it's, it's spread out all over the place. But what we try to do is we pretty much funneled everything into our right. store that when you c come exactly. there, you're not, you know, you don't wonder what is good for me. Basically, it's, it's targeted. Yes, okay. exactly. Thanks so much, Angel, for, for that. Thank you. Text, text and call us and we'll ask your questions. I'll be back with this week's Top 8, Ways on How to Get Up After Business Failure. Stay tuned. Ooh, I like that.